Now I'm 33 years old. Uh, uh, sorry, 73. <laughs> 73. The first uh, school I went to was a school for applied art. From there I moved to an art academy in Frankfurt. There I was thrown out of what I did as an artist. Can you imagine? I didn't steal silver spoons, but just what I did, I was thrown out. Then I went to the art, I applied at the art academy in Düsseldorf, and I was taken on. And in the early years, I was able to draw very narrative, very realistic. So that made me losing the respect for this technique. But it gave me the possibility to work in an experimental way. At the age of 16, for instance, I, I used objects of my surrounding. I just made an outline of it with the idea that a spectator should fill in his, by his imagination the object itself, make it sculptural or develop uh, an idea of content and so on. And by this I, I had the idea that a spectator would they take part in the creation of the work of form and shape. So as a very beginning, about 16, 17 years old. So without knowing uh, real what was going on in, in the art world. Things which happened to me, even my early childhood, it has a deep impression on me, so it gave me form and shape. And I think that was my idea, it influenced my development uh, in the art world. In the beginning, I want to stay away from telling things about me, like the way the art informel does. The idea of the écriture automatique, the claim that he tells something from there, inner life, from their personal situation and so on. This, I saw, thought, is not an idea uh, I would uh, uh, work with. But at the end, I, have to, I found out that the whole work is strongly biographical. I don't know why. With my work pieces, I don't tell stories. In acting with them, you as an actor, as an actress with it, might develop a story. So it's different, you know? It's not content, the content, the meaning, you develop in action. I think this is important. I asked myself, where does this concept, my co uh, concept of, uh, of art, where does it come from? And I have no real explanation, you know? It doesn't rely on art history, so I didn't develop it. I knew the art history pretty well. Therefore, I can say that it doesn't come from history. It's very personal, but I can't tell how it developed. So I thought it just fell from heaven, like dust of stars, Sternstaub. Only in the last years, a real reception happened that I think has also to do because generations, younger artists, they rely on my work, concept, they took it up, some are, and they've, uh, some are brought the reception into motion, I think, which makes it alive again. I have to say again, because in the 60s, 70s, the reception was quite different. Well, all the question, can you trust it? Is it, is it important? Is it a real question of art? I don't know, and also from the art world. Is it, is it minimal art, actionistic minimal art? Is it conceptual art? What is it? The language was not there to describe it. Today we have the language to describe it. So, it's a big jump. <laughs> There was no chance to continue the work of Marcel Duchamp. And his definition of work is completely different of mine. But he was very important for me. He was one of my heroes simply because of his radicality. The way he reacted towards art history, it was grandiose. So, and he had an immense influence of the development of the art in the modern, I think more than any other artist. Picasso had 
millions, you have to say millions, of followers, they copied him. But you can't copy Duchamp. He had seen photographs of mine in a studio of an artist friend, Duchamp's artist friend. That made him call me up. I don't know where I found uh, my actress from. He called me up. He wanted just to talk to me about my concept of the first place when I hit on the telephone. I thought somebody would make a joke. How would Duchamp? But he told me how he saw the photographs. It was him. And um, he wanted to see me. Within the next two or three days, why? He was about uh, to go to uh, Nuit in France for summer vacation. But those uh, two or three days, I didn't have the time. I said, I can't, unfortunately, I could go, come in five, six days. I said, no, then I will be best. Then we will meet when I'm back. Then he died in Nuit. That was really him. But often young artists come to me and ask, so I know just a few, but when I meet them, I'm happy to talk to them. That happened uh, half a year ago in a show in Munich. It was mounted by a um, German-English uh, curator lady called Move. In Munich, I met this uh, Tino Siegel. So he does work without material, without anything. And then he was asked where he comes from. And he said, well, one of, of the people I start from is the work of Hans Erd Walter. Of course, that makes me curious to talk to that guy. And somehow I feel more in connection and closer to younger artists than to artists of my generation. Almost all of them, for me, there's art history already. I can say I'm not, of course, my work is also, if you want to, art history, but the reception happens today with young artists which doesn't take place with other artists of my generation. So that gives me the feeling I belong more to them than to artists of my, than to artists of my generation. So... <laughs>